Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, this question here is from the textbook for <coughs> from the P2 Pure Mathematics to textbook from the Pearson Pearson at Excel International A Level um, Chapter Eight Integration. This is Exercise Eight D on page one sixty two, and it's question number seven. Uh, one of the students um, from the class has asked me to answer this question at school. And this was asked by Mr. And this is Atik, Hassan Atik, who asked me this question. So question number seven, it says the curve C has equations y equals x to the power of two-thirds minus two over x to the power of a third plus one. Verify that C crosses the x-axis at the point one zero. So they're not asking us to solve the equation. Okay, we could solve the equation. Um, it's not too difficult to do so. But it's just saying verify that it crosses the x-axis at the point one zero. So all you really have to do here is see when x equals 1, y should equal 0. So when x equals 1, y is equal to 1 to the power of 2 thirds minus 2 over 1 to the power of a third plus 1. Now, this means the cube root of 1 squared, and 1 to the power of anything is 1 anyway. So the cube root of 1, one squared is going to be 1 minus 2 over the cube root of 1, which is going to be 1. So you're going to have 1 minus 2 plus 1, which gives you 0. So when x equals 1, y equals 0. Therefore, we can say that 1, 0 is on 1, 0 is, is on C. Therefore, C crosses the x-axis at 1, 0. Okay, C passes that point. That point is on the x-axis. So C crosses the x-axis at 1, 0. Then similarly, it says show that the point a eight four also lies on C. So here, when x equals eight, then y equals. We're going to have now. Let's write this in insert form now, so it's easier to deal with. That's the cube root of x squared. So it's cube root of eight squared minus two over. And this is the square cube root of eight plus one. So the cube root of eight squared is two squared, which is four minus 2 over the cube root of 8, which is 2, plus 1, which gives you 4, minus 1, which is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So we can say when x equals 8, y equals 4, therefore the point A, 8, 4, is on C. Simple as that, okay? For this one, we could have actually solved it as well if you wanted to. We could have said that, you know, it crosses the x-axis and y equals 0, so we could have put y equals 0, okay? And we could have said x to the power of 2 thirds minus 2 over x to the power of a third plus 1 equals 0. We could have multiplied everything by x to the power of a third, which in case in, in that case you would have had x to the power of a third times x to the power of 2 thirds, in which case that will be, you add the power, so that's going to be um, 3 over 3, which is x minus, and when you multiply this by x to the power of a third, you get 2 plus x to the power of a third equals 0. Um, and this is like a, um, basically like a cubic, a disguised cubit, you could say. We could say let x to the power of a third equals x, uh, equals, for example, b. So x is equal to b cubed. So here you'd have had b cubed plus b minus 2 equals 0. And then we could have used the factor theorem to find that, uh, you know, when b is equal to 1, when b is equal to 1, that's one of the factors. When b is equal to 1, this becomes 0. So that means that, um, you know, when x is equal to 1 cubed, that's going to be one of the factors. So x equals 1 is a factor. But you don't need to go through all of that because it just says verify that this is a, this crosses the curve, uh, x, x, the x-axis at the point one zero. So you have to just show that when x is one, y is zero, and we've shown that. Okay, so you don't need to go through all of that palaver there. Okay, part C says the point B is four zero. Find the equation of the line through AB. So we have the point A, which is eight four, and the point B, which is four zero. So the equation of the line um, through AB is found by first finding the gradient of the line AB. 
Now the gradient is going to be the change in y, which is 4 minus 0 over 8 minus 4. 4 minus 0 is the change in y over the change in x. So that's 4 over 4, which is 1. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We can choose any of these points. I'll choose point B. So y minus 0 equals m, which is 1 times x minus 4. So you're left with y equals x minus 4. That's the equation through the line AB. That's part C. And then part D says the finite region R is bounded by C, AB, and the positive x-axis. Find the area of R. Okay, so let me just make a little axis here. The positive x-axis. Okay, the positive side of the x-axis, which is here. Okay, and this is your y. Now we know that the curve passes through the point 1, 0, and 8, 4. Okay, the curve passes through the point 1, eight, one 0, and 8, 4. So 1, 0 is here, and 8, 4, let's say 8, 4 is over here somewhere. Okay, so the curve passes like this. So I'm just going to draw like a curve. I don't know what it looks like. I'm just going to draw something like this. I don't know what it looks like. Okay, we don't know what it looks like. I'm just going to going draw it going through 1, 0, and passing through the point A, 8, 4. Okay, so that's that's the point that it, it says the um, the curve passes through 1, 0. Okay, so it passes through this point and it passes through A. Then it says um, the line passes through um, the, the line y equals x plus 4. x minus 4, sorry, is the equation of the line. So that line is going to pass through minus 4 and plus 4. So it's going to cross the, the x-axis at 4 and it's going to go through 8, 4. Okay, as we, as we can see, it's going to go through 8, 4. So it's going to go something like this. All right, that's what the line is going to look like. This is the line y equals x minus 4. So basically, we've got to find the region R, which is bounded by C. This is C. AB, okay, which is this, this line here, and the positive x-axis. So it's going to be this area in this region here. This is the region that we're looking for. This is the region we're going to call R. Okay, that's the region R that we have to find. So to find that area, what I'm thinking would be the best thing to do would be to find the area under the curve between 1 and 8. Okay, the area under the curve. Is that vertical? Between 1 and 8. That would be the whole of this area. And take away the area of this triangle. Now this triangle from here to here is 4 units. From there to there is 4 units. So this, this triangle has an area of a half times the base times the height, which is 8 units squared. So this is 8 square units. And I can find the area of the whole of the part, part of this curve underneath um, the curve. So the curve has equation y equals x to the power of 2 thirds. And it was minus, was it minus? Minus 2 over x to the power of a third, which is 2x to the power of minus a third, and plus 1. Plus 1, plus 1. Okay. So that's the equation of this curve. All right. So actually, this curve probably does some, some weird stuff before this. It goes through 1, so it probably goes down and up again, something like this. But it says it goes, goes through 1, 0, and it goes through 8, 4, eight four. so it definitely goes something like that in this area. Okay, it might go under the it might go under the the um, triangle. We'll see what happens. Anyway, it probably goes over because this starts from four. Anyway, so we have x to the power of two thirds minus two x to the power of minus the third plus one. So now we've got to find the integral of this between the limits one and eight. So we have x to the power of two thirds minus two times x to the power of minus one third plus one, and we've got to in integrate this with respect to x. In this with this definite integral so we're going to have this is equal to x to the power of two thirds add one to that that's three over three as x to the power of five over um yeah five over three over five over three which is going to be three fifths then you have minus and you're going to add one to this because two to the two x to the power of so you have two x to the power of two thirds add one to that divided by two divided by two over three which is multiplied by 3 over 2, so the 2s will cancel, leaving you with a 3 here. So this is going to have a 3 here. Okay. 
Why? Because you have 2x to the power of 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds. So that's multiplied by 3 over 2. 2 is cancelled out. Okay, that's the reason for that. And then plus x, and you have the limits 1 and 8. So let's um, get this ready. This is 3 over 5, and this is going to be the cube root of 8 to the power of 5 minus 3 times. This is the cube root of 8 squared plus 8. Okay, minus, and this is going to be 3 fifths. I'll put it here, minus 3 fifths, minus 3, and plus 1. So minus 3 fifths, minus 3, plus 1. Okay, minus 3 fifths, minus 3, plus 1. So this is going to give me the cube root of 8 is 2. 2 to the power 5 is 32. So this is 3 over 5 times 32 minus the cube root of 8 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 8 minus, and this gives me uh, 3 fifths minus 2. Okay, so let's just work this out. This is 96 over 5 minus 60 over 5 plus 40 over 5 minus 3 over 5 minus 10 over 5 so that's 96 minus 30 which is 36 36 plus 40 which is 76 over 5 minus and that's minus 7 over 5 <coughs> so 76 plus 7 is 83 over 5 and that's the area of this whole thing and I've got to take from this area 8 so I have 83 over 5 take away 8 which is 40 over 5 which gives me 43 over 5 and that's the area of this region so the region here is 43 over 5 square units and there's the answer to that question part D and um, yeah so there there we have it this is a question all about integration and area between curves and lines and um, you know so in this particular case we need to find this area so we took the area of the whole thing minus the area of this triangle and we ended up with 43 over 5 this is a question as I said from the textbook other questions from the textbook you can find from this chapter 8 from P2 you can find in the playlist over here other questions from integration in general from P2 you can find in this playlist and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.